Good morning, Hope Fiends. Welcome to Addiction Recovery. I'm Tim and I am an addict. Today I'm going to talk a little bit about the Just for Today reading for today. It's called Accepting Life. It says, Some things we must accept, others we can change. The wisdom to know the difference comes with growth in our spiritual program. Basic text, page 95. It's relative, relatively easy to accept the things we like. It's the things we don't like that are hard to accept. But remaking the world and everyone in it to suit our tastes would solve nothing. After all, the idea that the world was to blame for all our problems was the attitude that kept us using and the attitude that nearly killed us, or in some cases it did kill us, and I was just lucky enough to be brought back. In the course of working the steps, we begin to ask ourselves hard questions about the roles we ourselves had played in creating the unacceptable lives we lived. In most cases, we found what needed changing was our own attitude and our own actions, not the people, places, things around us. In recovery, we pray or meditate for wisdom to know the difference between what can and can't be changed. And then once we see the truth of our situation, we pray or meditate for the willingness to change ourselves. So just for today, higher power, grant me the wisdom to know the difference between what we can change and what we must accept. And please help me gratefully accept the life that I've been given. Um, and that's not an easy thing to do. Um, if you're like me, I'm, I want what I want right now. I want what I want when I want it. And that's just the way I am. Addicts are selfish. We're self-centered. We think the world revolves around us. If you didn't, like, if you didn't bend to my commands, I would, I would either threaten you. I would, throw, uh, I mean, depending on the person, I would either threaten them. I would throw a temper tantrum. I would try to blackmail them, or I would try to coerce them in some way, like try to make them feel guilty. You know, whatever the case may be. But I, I, I was not a pleasant person. Let's put it that way. And. Uh, that kind of touches back on a video I made a couple days ago or yesterday that I never really had friends or relationships. I took hostages is what I did. I had drug connections and hostages. That's, that's, that's pretty much all I had. I didn't have real friends. I mean, I do have a couple real friends that for some stupid reason stuck with me. I don't know why, but I'm very grateful they did. So, um, you know... But we burn a lot of bridges with our addictions, um, and it takes a lot of time to gain, to gain that trust back. Now, this Just For Today reading is a huge one, because um, sometimes, like, knowing the difference between things we can change and things we can't change, addicts are really hard at deciphering them things. Um, so, my advice to you, and this is just advice, you can take it or leave it, you know, it's just... A suggestion but what worked for me is what I did was if I had a decision to make say someone um, I let someone get under my skin or I let you know or something pissed me off for some reason or another what I did was instead of reacting right away like I used to what I would do is I would give it 24 hours and I would then that next day I'd think about it and and, and I thought to myself, okay, it's 24 hours later now, Tim. Does this problem still affect you the same way you thought it affected you yesterday? If not, then let it go. If it does affect you or you have a resentment about it, then talk to your sponsor and get rid of that shit because it'll eat you alive. You cannot hold on to anger. We have, we have no room for anger in our program. And people, you know, they try to justify it and rationalize it. You know, they're justified anger or whatnot. You know, I mean, there are some things, obviously, that are justifiable. Like, I mean, if, I mean, so, there are horrible things in this world. I mean, if someone does something horrible to you or someone you love, of course you're going to be angry. But, but, this is a big but. And as hard as that may be to accept, you do have to forgive them. Because us, unlike other people, don't have the luxury of being able to hold grudges. We don't have the luxury to hate. We don't have the luxury to be angry with people. Because angry and, and being anger and hateful and holding grudges and resentments against people, 
is a death sentence to people like us. To me, I know is a death sentence. My ego is fucking huge. And if I don't keep it in check daily, then I will run amok. And I know what kind of damage I can I can cause. If I'm the one driving the, the car, then definitely some some bad shit's gonna go down. So um what I want what I what I'd like you I hopefully you take from this is be patient, take a step back, and just try to stay calm. Don't let stuff get to you. The only person that can piss you off is you. You are the only person that is in control of your emotions. And most addicts in early recovery have no control of their emotions. So with practice and with sponsorship and step work, these are all things that you can overcome. Um, I'm telling you, I, I've just I've got nine months now, but back before, when I almost got a year, I had 11 months of three weeks, and I got hurt very badly at work, the doctor insisted on giving me pain meds, even though I told him no numerous times, I finally caved because I was in a lot of pain, one thing led to another, you know how relapses work, the next morning I woke up, didn't feel dope sick, I didn't, wasn't jonesing for anything, so didn't think nothing of it. A week later, you know, a couple of Vicodins, oh, well, last time I took some painkillers, I didn't have no ill effects, so maybe I'm okay. So, well, voila, next thing you know, three and a half years later, uh, my relapse is still happening. And then I finally decided to, you know, I, I couldn't take it anymore. I, I finally learned that you can get off the train at any time. You do not have to wait until it crashes into the fucking wall. You can get off at any stop, and there are plenty of stops before the end. Or you can put down the shovel, whatever analogy you'd like to use, use that analogy. But I hope that you got something out of this. So in general, pretty much what I'm saying, I'd just like to reiterate, I don't think anybody's dumb, but I do know that addicts have a very short attention span and get confused very easily because it happens to me. I recorded this video like six times now, so I hope it's good. By the way, I uh, have horrible insomnia and I've only had like three hours sleep, so if I'm not as um, cognizant as I normally am, that would probably be the reason. So just like I said, take time, take a step back, and don't sweat the small stuff, man. That, that don't, you, you don't have time, energy, nor the, it just, it won't work out for you. Don't sweat the small stuff, and even the big stuff for that matter, you know. Take a step back, evaluate the situation, and make a good decision on what you're going to do. Because I don't always know what the right thing to do is, but I definitely know what the wrong thing to do is. And as long as I keep doing not the wrong thing, chances are pretty good that I'm doing the right thing. So... If you have problems like I do, deciphering between right and wrong at times, then always just choose not to do the wrong thing. If, even if you're not sure what the right thing to do is, chances are it's not the wrong thing. So, there you go. Well, Hope Fiends, I love you, and I hope you all have a wonderful day. Please, please, leave in the comments if you have any suggestions for videos, if you're struggling with anything. Or if you just want to talk about something, you know, any anything that you, you might, a topic that you have, let me know. And please, 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 share and sub, because the more addicts I can reach, the better off it is for everybody. And right now, I'm, I'm so very happy with that, with the support I'm getting. I'm not trying to under undercut it at all, but I at least would like to get up to 100 subs. And then I can quit worrying because I don't have to shoot the link to everybody. It's very hard to find the videos if you don't know exactly what you're looking for. So I at least want to be able to live stream and for people to be able to find my videos. So please, please, please sub and share. Um, 